type. Our minds go away. No one likes you except that guy who does. Oh, pretty nice silver finger. And duration -y. And I get a legendary cause. My finger might just be a bit too slow. Probably like just a few kills off of that. Thanks for messing around in Vampire Survivors. Beswick 241. Lama Ladonna will not be heading to the Bone Zone. He will instead be heading to Moon Glow. Because I am sick of losing at the Bone Zone. So we're going bonus stages today instead. And hopefully get a better roll on the challenge stage when it comes back to it. Firearm. Because I do not have the time to go doing this. Wow, that was really lucky. Yeah, I lost like five times on the bone zone. So not exactly in the mood with only a handful of hours to go before this must be posted to mess around anymore. But, well, Moonglow is going to be Moonglow. It should hopefully be Moonglow. And it should be all good. What am I doing? I have pickups on the map that I can grab. Because it's Moonglow. Moonglow Town. There we go. And it should be not particularly difficult to generate what my third would be, especially because it just showed up on screen. And yes, I lost multiple times with four seasons on the Bone Zone. Llama's increased curse just meant, even if it's just so small an amount, it worked enough. Even with max cooldown, I did manage to max out everything. And yet it still wasn't enough to get through to the evolution time. Boss both revives, and not even to the stalker, just a random enemy damage and then the boss of all things. The boss on Bone Zone, that's just embarrassing. Why are the snakes moving when it's frozen? That's awkward. Well, less awkward news, an axe. Throw an axe. Throw many axes. Let's save that till I could possibly evolve something. It won't, but who cares? It's Moonglow. I shouldn't be losing here, but watch me lose anyway. Or actually, don't watch me lose, because if I lost, I wouldn't be posting this video. Or will I? Ooh. Ah, getting so close to the end of the third wave. If I had kept up with the three different characters situation, I'd be like in the... near the bottom of the list, right? The original list. Hmm. About 14, actually, so... Uh, DLC is 24. That would only be 8, so I'd be a bit up into original ace game characters still. Who knows which ones, though? Well, I suppose I could have checked, but. Well, this one is definitely not evolving. First chest sometimes can just evolve for strange reasons. Who knows why? Well, the reason why is I was programmed to do that, but who knows why it is programmed to do that. Maybe I should ask Ponko about it. I mean, when I said I was beating every stage with every character, he did reply. That's neat. And Palworld also replied to one of my responses. Huh. Not a door max. It is. Nope, no early evolution. And I am a partner with Offworld. Starship Trooper's extermination. I played with Casper Van Diem. John Enrico himself. A legitimate movie star from a big screen picture. Oh boy.
I don't know which one is doing the most all this damage. Go to shovel, really? Yeah, go to shovel's doing 200. That's crazy for something with this level of area. I don't even like it's all that slow. Even if I didn't have what I had. You now my first run on the bone zone. We don't know till I tell you. Hoo hoo hoo. My first run, I blew in Boogaloo Evolutions, but I just couldn't get anywhere. I didn't even get to level 10. It was crazy bad. But of course, the sheer luck of not getting either of the other weapons didn't help. Until like the last minute, even then. There was no chance at that point. I think for a guy this heavy with armor, there'd be an armor bonus, but nope, that's for Antonio. Wow, you didn't even drop a gem. Does seem like the axes are doing 200 on top of it, so that's nice. No wonder Death Spiral goes off. Actually, that means the Llama's putting out quite a bit of a damage with these two weapons. And Firearm is... firing off. Boyd is not being able to evolve for 10 minutes here on his 15 minute stage. Be annoying. Be annoying. Be annoying. Crab battle. Slowly walk away through the crab. Everything else take care of them. Too fast, too deadly. Too slow, too deadly. That spiral too deadly for the enemy. Actually less damage up front than the axe, but well... Who cares when you got this pattern of fire? Fast enough to hit enough. Yeah, it's almost a whole one point of damage. What the hell? Oh, that increased curse. It gets so little, yet it's doing so much. I said I'd prefer to play Toasty over Llama. Oh, this is gonna eventually stop and just gonna result in another death immediately. I can't believe I have to try on Moon Glow. Moon Glow. All those levels fired off. Awake. Yes. Long for awake. On Moonglow. To survive. Well, go die shuffle. It's still gonna be go die shuffle. I can't believe this was in any remote way tight. Or in doubt. At least I can go random always now for the one minute left. At least the bonus stages are going to be much more relaxed. I better not have already been moon glow on him. I checked for her. It's hard to tell, okay? Jeez, Kodai Shuffle is doing 400 a hit. That's absolutely nutty. Okay, shouldn't be any trouble left to the end here. Unless I take my mind off the controller for just a second to go look at my water bottle. Yep, that figures.
Burn them all. Yay, at the Lion to an egg. Those in theory. Go die shuffle is amazing. It's time to pull it up in Vampire Survivor's Beswick. Why am I saying that for the second video? Who knows? It's whiteout time. A tragic princess is calling. And we will not be evolving. These are not weapons I want. Neither are those. Wow, you don't want to show me the weapons I wanted, huh? Passives are inevitable. Man, it didn't even give me the passives for a while. I spent so many levels on them. Put on reduction, go. Never let them stop you, Poe. Never let them stop you. Garlic. Garlic. It's garlic goodness. Sure, with wings it'd be even faster that cooldown reduction. But I want a garlic maximum power. It is the one and only thing I can sell. It does not get the benefit of emptied home. And that is why it is the worst weapon. Ha 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 ha. Nice big old honk of garlic right there. It's good eating. Wow, you don't want to pop the lightning ring. Oh no, I said what my third was going to be. And there it is, and I just... And then grab it. Because garlic. And there it was again, and I didn't grab it again. Because garlic. And there it is, finally. But then I grabbed it, because there was no garlic. And yes, the third passive will be to his box for most area and most might. Because oh boy. Wow, that's just incredible timing. Melissa and when the snowmen come up. Right when I want to charge through a million things. I instead have a million more on the way. And see where are the snowmans. Get the sting of garlic all up in their business. Spinage, spinage, spinage. Oh, I didn't grab the Coronas box yet. Let's get the garlic doing as much damage as I can. Oh boy. Is that going to be necessary? Hmm, big old garlic. Mighty Garlic. Obviously not evolving any of these. So I'm going to be relying heavily on the ability to Garlic it up. 35 damage Garlic. Imagine that. Just imagine it. Okily dokily. It's nice to relax every once in a while. And Starburst. That figures. Why well, wouldn't it be Starburst? Why would it, you know, something not die when I hit it? I didn't even get Toronas to max. Good grief. I mean, wretched luck with pickups, too. Well, if they're not dying, I've had a lot of easy luck on them in the past recently, so... Ugh, that's not a good sign. That is having no health. Oh boy. Second awake instead of... Well, something that buffs up the damage. Anything that buffs up the damage. Man, there's just nothing popping out from the snowman. What the heck? 
That's incredibly bad. I think there's one chicken. One. One more projectile. Yeah, there's just no knockback on these things, huh? Well, at least they got awake with no issue. And even if the cooldown reduction doesn't affect garlic, the might increase will. So it will be sound old sanctuary for the third. As is usual. Crab battle. Crab battle. Look like crab. Fight like crab. Crab battle. Crab battle. Oh, hey, squaring the enemies. Seriously, I'm usually drowning in power pickups by now. What is it with the old man's luck? Oh, a giant blue wall. Is gonna do its business, but still. My might can only go up from here. I increase that knockback resistance too, that's nice. Yep. Well, I can't evolve, so it's not like I need to limit break. Specifically for anything. Right here for Santa Water. Mount. Yeah, mount. Ooh, Santa Water's probably better for a mount. Right? And more area for garlic. Make it hit the whole screen, and then it'll do its business. Gotta be a big red gem around here somewhere. The biggest, reddest gem there is. Or duration. Might on lightning ring is going to be worth more than might on garlic. Man, I got it. What was that? Three amount from Santa Water? These regular mobs aren't a trash. I mean, they can't get in at all. I'm out. Man, I'm getting no area on garlic, huh? Not my big red gem yet. Where yet, big red gem? Is that it? Nope. Make that garlic area the size of the screen. It will still be not great. Oh, didn't mean to grab that, but okay. That shouldn't be it. I've been up here before. Uh-oh. Not a good sign if I can run into them. Okay. Sheer amount of sand water on the ground, though. They don't have much chance against that. If the robots are struggling this much, yeah, they don't even need to make that large of a circle. Yeah, wow, they're going down very quickly. That's nice. A nice change of pace. I don't even need to use garlic. Ha 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 ha. It stank anyway. Stanky, stank, stank. No, I didn't mean to grab that oral again, but okay. Bats? Really? What are you doing here, bats? And doing better than the dang robots. I'm always just gonna keep calling them robots over golems. They just look more robotic to me. 
Hey, here's my son, old sanctuary. Watch that damage spike up even higher. 40 damage on garlic. How could you lose? Warm out. I don't know where Kazune went. Wow, more amount on Santa Water. Well, I don't have to worry about getting hit by the box fire, so that's nice. Try and drop all the gar Santa Water on it. Though that hit delay is incredibly high, huh? Two Kazune. Wow, none of these were the big red gem. Finally? Finally. Well, pump out the might, I guess. Could have been a bigger, could have been a redder, could have been gemmier. That's enough. Man. All the fox fires are eating up the lightning ring blasts instead of the Kizunes. Oh, I've got quite amount of Xanta water going on them at least. Oh hey, one of them went down. That's nice. Snowman, snowman. Show me your snowman. Actually, might. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's 1732 in. And both Kazunes are down. Only snowmen left. And that shouldn't be much of an issue with an Orologian helping me. Hey, NFT in. Some big garlic. Boogaloo obviously would be pushing it even bigger. But I had to wake. Because I was bad. 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 It's the giant snowmans, aren't that? Aren't that the troop? Wait, does Santa Water count as fire damage? I mean, it looks kind of burny. Fire, fire, light the fire. Light the snowman all on fire. Whoa. It's death. Against Poe Ratchu. And death is one. As one expects. Wow, when you ring out, you out damage Santa water. And time for Clarici to head over to Space 54. Don't know how Santa water is going to lay on the void of space, but we'll find out. Oops. I forgot to get Empty Tome back. Well, this is gonna end awkwardly. Watch that cooldown lower. Ever further into the abyss. Santa water. It'll be nice and big though. One day. One day it will retain its past glory. I don't know why I went one of those over empty tome. I just got quick and the lazy. Well, time to get as much XP as possible. Ripple, attract orb evolving today. 
What's the third weapon? Do you know offhand? I don't remember. I knew it was something from our Russian guns, then I went around checking for it. And surprise, surprise, it turned out to be... None of these. Well, it's divers of mine. Break that tension. Like I'm a Marvel movie and gotta quip it every second. I haven't watched a single one since Endgame. Have you? What a random topic to bring up about. Garlic. Amazing garlic. Uh, that can't possibly evolve. And it can't possibly be negative at this point. And Evermind's comes up all the bloody time, and now when I actually need it, it's nowhere to be seen. Go figure. Wanna get that area up. Three seconds longer, three seconds killier, base area up even more. Hmm, wonder if I can do golden finger with this. What was that? Oh, it must have been Mirage Robe. Oh, I don't need anything up top or up bottom. Autumn. Yes, that is fairly remotely correct. Oh, make it bigger. Make it vacuum orber or attract orbier. Or vacuum air. Run into it, space duck. You were majestic. Weirdly hits them quite well. There you are, Diver Mines. Finally, geez. Now, I suppose it'll make it easier to tell when it's starting to break into space. If you know, in fact, that sort of happens at a predetermined time. You can make that obvious enough. Or are you still alive up there? That was odd. Oh. Boy. Yeah, Diver Mine. Supremacy. I mean, once it gets to a Tama Torpedo, it'll be better. The Tama Torpedo is actually good. Diver Mine is not. Good grief. What is with the aim on this thing? Hmm. What would I even want? Counterpart. Counterpart. I mean, I suppose duration affects all of them, right? So lost and found painting go. <laughs> Level 8, Torona's box. My area is as big as it's gonna get. I'm not getting Boogaloo of Illusion. I'm not dealing with curse nonsense. Man, it's hard to get over that. Good old golden finger, eh? Well, that's not good show. Not a good show at all.
<laughs> this evolve? Can I evolve anything? Should be able to evolve. Labora. Labora. Or laboratory. Come on, give me the blue sun. Ouch. That lasted far longer. Oh, oh, you can freeze the boxes. Never really thought about that. Obviously, I would have hit it with Oralogian in the past, but... Everything freezes to Oralogians. Except the things that then come on frozen for some reason. Mighty Labora. My dear Labora. Mightiest Labora. More Mightiest Labora. Diver Mines, go away. No one likes you except that guy who does. Oh, pretty nice silver finger. And duration -y. And I get a legendary cause, my finger might just be a bit too slow. Probably like just a few kills off of that. Evolve me. Eldore. Eldore. Alright, should be getting another evolution chest up soon. And with a Tama Torpedo, it'll be all good. Huh. <laughs> yes, area. That will clearly make a difference here. And bonus stage where your evolution just gotta be so messed up. Awaken, Clarichi, awaken to your destiny. No, it better be 12. Boom, boom, boom. Man, I'm getting so many. Diver mind is... Jeodore, Jeodore. And did you just not drop a chest, boss? Really? Brimney Christmas. Well, never mind, shots are quite large, I guess. Boss up there that spawned in, I didn't see. Arg. Arg, give me the atomic torpedo. I want to blow things up with the power of atomic torpedoes. Yay, boss, give me my chest. Seriously, is that two bosses that didn't give an evolution a chest at all? Jeez, what the heck is going on? Talk about awful luck. I'm just random always at this point, I don't care anymore. Uh, 
It's a tracked orb, and I have the weapon pickup. They're both maxed out. Shouldn't be not having this. Blowing things up. Yeah, they're just looping around in midair for some reason. The eternal diver mine. Oh, well, it eventually blew up. Alright, oh, also duration exists. Yay, duration. One for duration, not bad, not bad. Not something I really went into it expecting to take, but hey, it worked out. Hey, something got him out. I got an Oral Logan. And I'm nowhere close to eating that other golden finger. There's no way I'm grabbing it. I'm gonna make an attempt anyway. Because a ton of torpedo is a ton of, ton of fun. Hey, finally, a chest. Jeez, that took forever and a day. Yay, now blast them. Keep them away from poor Clarichi. No. I have a lot of stuff that actually prevents them from trying to reach me, huh? Have a Giulio Dore. And the Atomic Torpedo, grinding them around. And then, smack dab in the center is the Blue Sun of Death. Nah, no, no boxing in Clarici today. Boy, I hope this holds out. Da -da 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 -da. You know, I think the regular Mirage Orb is better for fending off death because you don't have to worry about it walking off. And with enough cooldown, you'll just make enough clones that you don't have to worry about it. Because it'll just be an entire army. Oh no! Two minutes in. And death is not getting anywhere because it's distracted by the Geodoy. Ha ha, death, you got outboxed. Alright, and with a surprising amount of struggle, 473 is done with Lana Ladama. Over on the Moon Glow, we got some white out done with Corecho. Easier time there, even with a bit of difficulty. And Space 54 has been Clarice. It takes us up to 475. Takes the Beswick down to 1,457 to go. Every day, a little bit closer. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Thanks to anyone who has liked, disliked, commented, or subscribed. If you haven't, please do so. Either way, have a good day and keep messing around in Vampire Survivor's Beswick.